Alright guys, what is going on? And welcome, welcome back to another episode of Making Gains and the final, the final episode of the series. Today's date is Friday the 25th of August and so if you're watching this you may actually be seeing it in real time and that's, that's what I finally wanted to get this fucking YouTube channel back to doing is to uploading videos in real time. So throughout the series I had so much footage, I had so many videos that I just could not keep up. Um, I didn't want to upload too often, I didn't want to you know fuck anyone off so um, I, I kept the videos in the bank and so I'd release them every couple of days. What's that, what that has meant is that today's date is the 25th of August, I started this series on August the 13th 2016 so if it was 365 days that would have been August the 14th 2017 but it's August the 25th so that's another 11 days so we're actually at day 306, 376 of making gains <laughs> 376 days guys holy fucking shit so so guys as I like to say with that being said <laughs> I'm going to go and sit inside now, I'm going to pull up my laptop and I'm going to have a look through some of these old clips. I'm going to have a look through all, all the videos that I've made and um, hopefully in the background you'll see a few clips from some of them. And that's it guys, that's going to be how I, how I end this series. We're just going to reminisce a little bit throughout the times that we've had over the last year. And you know, this, this has been my life, I've documented my entire life this past year and you know it's my entire life because there's been some personal shit in there so you know like I've been saying I'm looking forward to closing this book you know closing the chapter on the making gains series and then putting my attention into something else opening another chapter and what I will say guys is that if you make it to the end of this video you will see that there has been another chapter opened and it's a pretty damn exciting chapter so stick around for that but in the meantime I'm gonna go inside grab myself a drink Sit down on the couch with my laptop and I'll see you there. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Oh. Alright guys, a couple of housekeeping things before I do go and sit down. I just want to show you guys new supplements I got. Um, you know, I'm probably not gonna have too much of an opportunity to show you in the future, so I may as well do that now. I've changed my protein powder from MTS Whey to Giant Sports, delicious protein. This is banana flavor, it's absolutely delicious. I love it. As well as that, we've got a pump supplement. Uh, it's called Stars and Pipes by America Labs. Now, I am getting to the stage where I don't want caffeine in every single workout. So the ones that I've already had enough caffeine for the day, or you know, I'm just I'm not feeling like it, um, I'll just take this on its own. So as well as that, we've got some BCAs in grape flavor and you know the main reason I've got these ones over other ones is that they mix really well and it tastes amazing so Cyvation is you know a brand that's been around for a long time um, it's a brand that I trust and the fucking the flavor is is so good so yeah that's why I got that one and last but not least guys I've got my final supplement here which is called Kraken and I took it once last night and I'd have to say, take at your own risk, because <laughs> there was a point there where I thought, fuck, I think I've taken too much of this, and I just had to sit down and fucking, like, I was sweating and all sorts of stuff, so, no good, no good, but uh, there is one ingredient in here that I was very intrigued about, and that is DMHA, which is a similar ingredient to DMAA, which was in a few pre-workouts back in the day. It was also named something else, which was Amp Citrate, which was an, an original formula of, uh, what was it, OptiBurn Amped. So I got that, when I, when I first got that, like <clears throat> probably about two or three years ago, I thought, fuck, these, these effects are amazing. Um, but what I did find is that the effects were great at first but then if you start using it day after day they diminish really fast so I think that's what's probably going to happen with this but in all honesty from what I felt yesterday I, I might want it to diminish but anyway regardless of that I'm not going to have a coffee this morning I'm actually going to try this once more so 
you know, a full serving is two scoops, half a serve is one scoop. I had two scoops yesterday. I am not doing that again, so we're going to go one and a half scoops, and I'll let you know how it goes. But with that being said, I'm going to get my laptop going and uh, sit down and look through these fucking clips, and I've talked way too much. I'm really sorry, guys, but guess what? It's the last video, so you don't have to see me do this shit anymore. Ah, okay. All right, guys, this is it. This is it, man. The final sit down, the final chat. Welcome. Let's do this. All right. Jeez, it's going to be surreal. Like, literally, I've used like the same folders to import my videos, to, you know, edit my videos, to save my videos in. There's a hell of a lot of fucking footage here, man. A hell of a lot of videos and a hell of a lot of work. I'm not even going to lie about that. There's been a shitload of work going in, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I've really enjoyed it. And let me see what the first episode was. <laughs> Holy crap. My first video was three and a half gigs long. I think I must have used like 4K footage in that one or something. Alright guys, what is going on? My name's Jacob. Welcome, one and all, to episode one of my brand new series. I'm extremely excited to bring you guys. It's called One Year of Gains. Alright guys, we are here at the gym. Anytime Fitness, Alice Springs, which is my local here in Alice Springs. Um, if you didn't know before, that's where I live. It's right in the middle of Australia. If you watch the weather map and you see the Australian weather, if they've got a number right in the centre of Australia, that is exactly where I live. And we done. One leg workout in the books. Fantastic workout. Hope you guys enjoyed that voiceover. And right now, guys, I am going to head to the supermarket to get some food. My, my cupboards are pretty bare at home. Uh, definitely two of my you know, go-to protein sources. I know what I'm going to get with them. Um, turkey, when I can find it on special, I usually go with turkey breast as well. It's extremely lean and it actually has a lot more taste than chicken. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, I just got a little bit distracted there. I actually really enjoyed watching that. Um, seeing myself from a year ago, that is buzzy as hell. Buzzy as, but anyways. So, yeah, day one, I can, I can actually, I can physically, like, I can honestly remember, you know, making these videos, I can remember setting up the camera for that shot, and setting up the camera for that shot, and even like a whole year ago, I can still vividly remember it. So, day three, day nine, day sixteen. Day 18, day 19. I remember day 19 because that was when I, I first felt like bigger. You know, I'd filled out and I thought, fuck yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm bulking now, you know, this is, this is going good. And that was on day 19. I'm feeling good, as I said. We're fucking making gains, man. I'm feeling bigger already. I, I really am. I've filled out. Um, I've done all my filling out. My glycogen stores are full all the time. I do feel a little bit softer around the stomach area, but it just comes with it. I really don't give a fuck. I'm well and truly motivated as hell to continue this series, one year of gains. Fuck man, there's so many. There is literally so many fucking videos, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Day 55 is when I did my first 5x5 five five bench press, trying to test my, my strength. And I think I got 90 kgs for 5x5, five five, which is pretty, pretty piss poor, to be honest with you. That was pretty shit. But what that does mean is that I can do 5x5 five five at this weight. And that'll be a good uh, starting point for a bench press strength based program. But you know, we move on. We move on. See, and I've done, I've done quite a bit of travelling in the last year actually, come to think of it. 
and it's like little trips that you'd probably forget otherwise but because I've vlogged them I remember them so day 59 I went to Adelaide well, I drove to Adelaide I've got my gym bag laptop which will be packed up very shortly toiletries we've got sunglasses contact lenses passport don't want to forget my passport All right. so it's about three o'clock in the morning 3 a.m. and um, I'm up I'm up everything's ready my bags packed my cars full my room is nice and clean forgive me if I'm a little delusional right now but uh, I will be having a monster on my way so it's probably the earliest I've ever had a monster drink that's for sure but uh, without further ado guys I'm gonna get that into me I'm gonna get in the car and I'm gonna get going <laughs> got some light don't know if you can see oh there we go and it looks quite cool all right everybody. we are in the absolute middle of nowhere and funnily enough there's a truck coming by At least 800 k's to go, so better get on to it. <laughs> oh, what is happening? What is happening, everybody? Fuck, what day is it? Wednesday. We're down in Adelaide. Not a bad day, but it's pretty cold actually. Staying at a friend's place while I'm down here, so uh, this morning I went and got a coffee, checked out the Anytime Fitness, which is around here, which is about uh, five minutes down the road, which is all good. One chess session in the books. I didn't do uh, shoulders and triceps because I've actually got that organized for tomorrow uh, with my man Dylan, the guy who I was meant to compete with but never did. So he lives down here in Adelaide so I've texted him and luckily he told me that everything else is spent except for his chest, no except for his shoulders and triceps so I stopped after chest, uh, it was a pretty good workout, it's a fucking cool gym actually, it's right, I'll show you, it's um... Spent a few days down there. Then I went to New Zealand on holiday for day 67, day 69, day 71, 75. What's happening? It's Friday. We're heading to New Zealand today. Can't wait. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. I've got to be at the airport at about 12.15. So all my bags are packed. What is happening? And it's that time again. It's that time to jump on a plane and get the fuck out of here. Fucking good to see Dylan, eh? Really love that cunt. I've, I've literally only met him twice. And I feel like, you know, we're really good friends. So it's cool. It really is cool. What is going on everybody? We are here in Christchurch. Well in Littleton actually. Littleton is about 10 minutes out of Christchurch. Um, and it is in a harbour. Here's the house. And it just got sold. Just got sold. Look at these motherfucking views. Look at that. Who's that? No one. Um, yeah, but I've got to say, man, I'm fucking stoked with this haircut. And I'm so close, so close to being able to tie it back, it's not even funny. So, One good thing about staying here at my dad's place is that he's got glass bottles for his water, rather than plastic. Get that underway, and I'll catch you guys in a sec. And today I'm going to go visit my mate Adam, who went to school with me at Kashmir High School. Um, I don't know if any viewers or many viewers are from Christchurch, but if you are, you might know Kashmir, and um, that's the high school that I went to. And um, you know, most of us have sort of gone on our different paths, but Adam's still in Christchurch, and he's had a kid. And unbelievably, 
I've been back like three times in the last two years and I still haven't seen him. And I definitely haven't seen his kid. So he is turning two and his name's Jackson. And um, I'm going to go over and catch up with Adam and meet his son for the first time, which should be great. Can't wait to get there. It's going to be a fucking awesome catch up. I hung out with this guy every single day for about fucking seven years. Up until I left New Zealand. So. Right, what's happening people? We have just been to the gym and we've hit back. Definitely close. But anyways, um, I've just come down to Casbah Moroccan Grill. Don't know if you can see it, but definitely one of my favorite places here in, in um, Christchurch. 80, and then on day 81, I went from New Zealand to Bali. Welcome to Bali. This is the hotel gym that I have been using so far. I said, uh, I'm going to get into a workout. I've only hit one workout since I've been here, so that's not ideal. Um, I've had a few drinks. Last night I decided not to go out after thinking the whole entire day I was going to have a massive night out on the piss. And I'm so glad I did because I've gone downstairs, I've got breakfast, I've had a coffee, and now I'm going to hit a workout. <laughs> the deluxe room so first thing over here is the bathroom area which is all like concrete slab which is actually really cool because it's got these frosted glass windows so uh, we've got an absolutely monstrous bed this I've never seen a lift like this it's like a fucking spaceship and it's got all these windows and all these guys can see what I'm doing right now so hopefully they're not thinking I'm trying to film them which I'm absolutely not Massage. You get hit up for so much shit when you, ride, when you walk along the streets that it's just, it gets to the point where you just absolutely got to ignore it. You just, you're like, just too many people. You just got to keep walking. Everybody, what is happening? We're here at the uh, second um, location of my trip to Bali. So quick tour guys, it's, it's quiet season in Bali at the moment so I think it picks up late December before Christmas and New Year's. Laundry. This way. You want to see, you want to see this laneway that this car went down. Looking on the map, well, on Google Maps, the road actually stops about here because from here onwards it's, uh, it's fucking tight. I don't know how the hell he got me down here actually. And one thing I remember most about Bali is the, I think it was day 82 that I made, uh, which was the worst hangover I have ever had in my entire life. And I got it on camera for you guys, so I might put a, a little clip of that in right now. A little chat, guys. Wow. It's now Friday. The last time you saw me was Wednesday. What a fucking night. Completely crashed out. Woke up at like one. Did not eat one thing until this morning. Couldn't drink water. I felt like I was going to throw up. I was literally like that meme where you see that little alien fucking crouched up in, on the bed. The worst dries and just feeling sick, headache, everything, but you just can't move. You can't do anything, you're fucking paralysed. So fuck me, I, I think, I, I do think that was the worst, the worst hangover I have ever had. But anyways, then we're on day 90, we're back into it, back, back to Alice Springs, back to training, back to, back to making gains. Um, day 100 came along, and this was the first time I had weighed 100kg. 
So that was a 100kg physique update at day 100. Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome to another video, another episode of Making Gains. We're at day 100, would you believe? Day 100. This started way back in August. Today's date is November the 20th and that marks exactly 100 days. So today I've had my breakfast, I've had three bananas, I've had uh, two wraps with some honey. So I haven't, had, I haven't had any protein this morning but I've had a lot of carbs and I'm going to go down to the gym now and get a nice pump going. I hope some arms and some chest. That's the plan anyway but if you guys know me well enough by now you'll know that any plan I have before I go to the gym can change at any time. Day 104, 103, what supplements do I take? Reading YouTube comments, that was one of my favorite videos I've ever done. Um, reading the mean YouTube comments, <laughs> which is pretty funny. We're actually going to address, well not address, but we're going to look at some of the hater comments, alright? So the better, the better your YouTube channel goes, the more attention you're going to get, the more viewers you're going to get, and with that, the more hate you're going to get, obviously. Every now and then, I'll get a really like crack up hater comment. Most probably about gyno, it's usually about gyno. And, um, and I'll just laugh and, and keep going with my day. But today, I'm actually going to look through a few and I'll show you and I'll, I'll tell you guys about them and I'll, I'll, uh, we'll have a look how many likes they've got and shit like that. So, so what do we got? Some serious gyno going on, but to me, that looked like more like 12 to 13 percent. Well, thanks, mate. The pirates called, they want their sunken chest back. <laughs> I have not heard that before. <laughs> oh man. Any of you guys with a small chest out there, the pirates called, mate. They want their chest back. It's definitely mild gyno, and this should get checked out. It's crack up, because someone will put like a controversial, top, uh, controversial uh, comment, and then people will like rattle off all sorts of shit underneath it, and it turns into a full blown conversation. So I've got a few of those here. It's quite, it's quite fucking funny, but we won't go through those. Did you pop a boner when you looked into the mirror? Seems to me you did. I can't recall popping a boner when I looked in the mirror, no. Looks kind of gay, but that might just be your face. <laughs> no, sorry, but that might just be your face and the poses. Hmm, yeah, I'm not gay, but it is kind of gay posing, I must admit. You have no clue about body fat percentage. I know a lot about body fat percentage, and you are around 10%. Um... We've got, fuck, what have we got? My birthday. Shit. Day 107 was my birthday. We've got bulking grocery hauls. We've got bloody reviews. We've got training, cardio. How big are my arms? Fuck, honestly, there's just so many. I'm just, I'm going to skip a few here. Um, all right, day... Day 178, bad luck comes in threes. Well, that was when I, that was when I fucking broke my laptop, I broke my phone, I had no camera. Because, uh, I've had a bit of bad luck with my equipment. But with that being said, let's get on to what this video is going to be about. And it's about uh, the fact that I'm going to have to be upgrading my equipment uh, very soon or else I'm going to go insane because as of this point, as of today, I don't have a computer to use and I don't have a phone to use. So what that means is that I don't have anything to make videos on and I don't even have anything to shoot the videos on. So uh, my hands are tied right now but like I said at, at this stage, I just feel fucking helpless man. I can't do shit. I can't shoot a video. Well I am now. But even so, I've got, I've got some video footage on this phone that I want to make into an episode, but I can't even do that because I don't have my computer. So tomorrow, we've got a day off, and um, it's been far too long for me not to have a computer. So I'm going to look around a couple of places and try and find something that I want to buy. As well as that, I've got to get my old shit off my old hard drive and onto this computer. Yeah, like I said, you can connect a microphone to it and... Obviously, being a DSLR, you can inter uh, interchange the lenses. So I'm really excited about getting that. The computer, you know, I needed a new computer, so 
that I'm excited about getting that too. But the thing that just put the icing on the cake today was my phone cracking. I was just like, fuck me. And I don't think I had any internet at home either, so I had no way of making any videos. And so it was about a month where I went, where I didn't make anything. And then I made a video called Day 180 to 210. Where have I been? And so that was a cool video. It was just 20 minutes of me just talking. Just, just, just chatting with you guys. You know how I do. I fucking, you know. You know. Um, oh yeah, day 215. I went down to Melbourne for the Arnold Classic. That was good. Here's the crew. What up? Both got YouTube channels. Three. Three? We all do. Yeah, we all, that's right. Oh, both. Yeah, what am I talking about? <laughs> so, first taste of Arnold Classic is in the books. And it was a success. But I must say, the, one, the two things I like watching are powerlifting and strongman. As far as everything else, there's a shitload of supplements and really stuff that I'm not too interested in, to be honest. But so, with anyway, that being said, uh, it was positive, and I think it was. Just it's uh, it's time to go eat, and uh, I don't know what we're going to get. Probably something light. Got a nice breakfast this morning. A couple of coffees. Day two twenty one. As soon as I got back from the Arnold Classic, I was weighing one hundred and five kg. And that was when I did the 105 kg physique update. So to put that in perspective, at the start of the series, I was like, fuck, like 80, 89, 89 kgs, I think. And on day 104, I was 100 kgs. And on day 221, I was 105 kgs. So you can obviously see the weight gain came on really quickly. And then after about 100 kgs, it slowed, slowed, slowed. And then at about 105 kgs, that just stalled, and I just couldn't get any heavier. So whilst I was in Melbourne, I decided to get a DEXA scan. So then when I came back to Alice Springs, I, I did a video running through the DEXA scan. I think I was at 15 or 16 or even 17% body fat at 105 kgs, which, you know, I put on some mass. And that was what this series was all about. It was about putting on mass, putting on size, bulking naturally. The cool thing about the DEXA scans is that I've had four in the past. So the first one I had, let me let me get this up here. Hang on. Okay. So the first DEXA scan I had was on the 3rd of September 2014. The second one was on the 23rd of April 2015. The third one not not long after, the 16th of July 2015. And the fourth one, which is the one I just got done, was on the 20th of March, 2017. Over the next year, I went down, up, down, up, until I started this series. And so for the last seven and a half months, I've been bulking straight, bulking hard, being committed to my diet, committed to, to eating, eating food, training hard, etc., etc. You guys have seen it. And here we are now, today. So my lean mass in the last 613 days has gone from 75.26 kilos to 85.6 kilos. So that is an increase of 10.235 kilograms of lean mass. That's gains, man. From there, we started a, a cut. We started my first cut, a mini cut of the series. That went for, after that we did a cut because I was going on holiday. I was going to Thailand for 14 days so from day 220 up to 240 something we did a cut I went to Thailand for two weeks which was a good holiday a lot of alcohol was drunk <laughs> but then I made it back and we're at about day 270 so from there it's been three months of making more videos going to CrossFit I joined CrossFit on day 283 which was cool. Uh, I went to CrossFit probably about four or five weeks and then I've actually stopped that. 
for the last four weeks just to give me a break, just to get my shit together. You know, I had no house to live in, etc. Everything was getting too much, so I put that on hold, but CrossFit was another part of the series. There's been a few holidays, there's been, you know, I've, I've been to Bali, I've been to Thailand, I've been to Adelaide, I've been to New Zealand, I've joined CrossFit, I've cut, I've, I've learnt my body, you know, this year has not been a waste, it's been a fantastic year. <sighs> and and uh, all I can say is, on to the next. So, with that being said, that's it guys, that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to, I'm not going to dwell on it, I'm not going to look at it too much more because I'll just, I'll be here all day honestly. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's it guys, I, I want to, what I'm going to do now is put all of that into perspective. And it's into the perspective it really should be seen in, which is not really that important, okay? Because, you know, in my opinion, what is important is family, it's friends, it's experiences, it's memories, and it's being, you know, having a sense of peace inside that you don't need to tell everyone about, you know? It's being proud of, you, proud of yourself, proud of what, what you've achieved, and looking forward to the future, having things to look forward to, you know, having dreams and goals that you're working towards. This was a dream, this was a goal, this was a goal, a hunt, like a, a whole year of making videos, making a video series, you know, keeping myself accountable, growing my YouTube channel, which it has, you know, and I'm really proud of myself, and this is the day, you know, this is the day I, I never knew whether, whether it would come, whether I'd actually make it to the end of this fucking thing, and I have. And it makes me feel really good inside. You know, it really does. I've, I've said I'm going to do something and I've done it. But with that being said, it really, it's really not that important. Because what is important, guys, is, is uh, something I'm about to show you right now. And um, I've known for probably about two and a half months, honestly. Um, and I've been waiting for the right time to drop it. And recently I've, I've told all the people closest to me, so, you know, if, if that's the case, then I guess it's about time to tell you guys. So, without further ado, I'd like to just tell you guys just to sit there, just for a minute, while I go and get something. And uh, I'll, I'll give you a little look, shall I? Before I do, before I do, guys, before I do, I'd like to, I'd like to ask everyone out there to please read between the lines right now. Okay, I'm going to show you one thing, and it's something you've seen before, but the meaning behind it um, has become all, <laughs> all too real recently, and you know it's taken taken me a little little bit of time to get my head around it, but I am totally excited. I am totally ecstatic, I'm happy, I'm looking forward to the future now, and that is because you've seen me drink from this cup many a time, but like I said before, it's time to read between the lines, guys. Okay, have a look at that, because that means one thing, guys. So yes, everyone, I am going to be a dad. And there is my little baby. And it's three and a half months old. So times are changing, guys. <laughs> times are changing. But I wouldn't have it any other way. The situation I'm working through day by day. I'm not with the girl, but we are on really good terms. I couldn't say what's going to happen in the future, but, you know, all I can say is that I am going to give everything to my son or daughter. We, I don't actually know which it's going to be yet. Uh, we find out, this is from the three-month scan, we find out at four months what the, what the sex is. 
so that's really exciting. So right now I'm just trying to you know embrace it all. I'm not I'm not having any preferences whether I want a girl or a boy. I honestly, it doesn't matter. I, I've got no I've got no preferences. I don't want any preferences because then you've got danger of going in there and, and being disappointed about what you're going to have. But that's that's not going to happen. Um, yeah. So due date, guys. Due date February the nineteenth. February the 19th, 2018. This little one is going to be coming into the world. So, yeah, that's it, guys. So, like I said, man, <laughs> like I said, it puts everything into perspective. It really does. And this is what life's all about. And I'm not a kid anymore. I'll be 27 by the time it's born. So all I want you guys to do is wish me luck, stick around the channel, because I guess I'm going to be introducing a little one into the, the world of YouTube, which is going to be very, very interesting, very funny. I can't fucking wait, you know. This, this wasn't planned. This was not planned. But like I said, I, I found out probably about two months ago, and it's been two months of me, you know, Encouraging myself, telling myself, I can do this, I can do this. It's about time, you know, everything happens for a reason, and that's what I want to end this on, okay, guys? Everything happens for a reason. And that's all I've got to say. So, I'm going to go put this back up on the fridge. I'm going to finish off my little drink here. And um, bid you farewell, guys. So it's been a year of making gains. I, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. We've got a whole another year of making more gains, family gains. And, um, and, and that's about it. And I'm fucking excited. So when I see you guys again, I don't know. It's going to be when I feel like I've got something worth talking about. If you guys have any ideas, any questions, hit me up. But until then, guys, I will see you in a little bit. So peace.